just like that. Thank you guys for joining me today on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I am Jeff Phillips. Okay, got a good one here for you today. I want you to just pay close attention because I promise you guys this is going to be a game changer for you. All right, so let's just say you've switched over from compound to traditional bows. You're looking for all the tips and the things that you need to know that will help you be a better shooter. Well, that's what I want to do, guys. I want to help you be a more accurate shooter whether you choose to aim or shoot instinctive longbow recurve it doesn't matter you got to get this and down guys this is key i'm going to share it with you and i hope and pray that everything about this video will do you some good okay here we go guys number one what are we doing today what are we dealing with controlling your bow how do you control a traditional bow well, what do you mean, Jeff? Okay, I'm going to explain this. Guys, if you have been shooting a compound, most likely you had a stabilizer on the front of that compound, right? You did, most likely. You probably even had counter stabilizers coming off the bottom, right or left side. You countered your weight. Whereas you had your quiver on this side, you probably had counterweights on the other side. Why do uh, Olympic shooters do this? Why do so many people put counterweights on their bows? It's because a bow reacts, a bow torques, guys. It torques when you release it. Well, there is a way that you can tame that with nothing but a raw bow and improve your accuracy a thousand percent. Guys, I promise, it's a game changer. I learned it years ago, and I was shooting a Kodiak Magnum, a little Kodiak Magnum, and it was a little wild thing. I mean, it Boy, it did. It kind of went crazy when you released because it was so light and short. Well, I learned how to shoot that bow. And I believe if you learn how to shoot a bow like that, you can shoot any of them. So what I want to demonstrate for you guys, I'm going to show you something that I feel like you've probably never thought about in the world of traditional shooting. And it is a game changer, as I said. I promise you guys it is. This alone will improve your accuracy a thousand percent the grip now guys how do you grip a bow what's the right way to grip a bow i'm going to show you you put your hand in that bow just like you would a compound wrap your fingers around and you see these three these three not the pinky but these three touch it with your fingertip don't grip the bow don't bring them around back them off and lay the fingertips only the fingertips on the riser right here See the white starting to come up in my fingernails? Pressure. Nothing but that. Nothing but your tips. Put the pressure. Squeeze them with that. Come into your anchor. The bow virtually does not move. It does not. Whereas, and I'll show you from two angles. Watch this, guys. If you bring your fingers around this bow, like normal, See, the bow wants to torque. It wants to torque, and you have almost no control. You don't. Why is it? Because there's something about your index finger alone being the leader of these three. When you line them up, one, two, three, and you put tip pressure on your riser, and you come into your draw, you have complete control of that riser with no torque. Your hand is not naturally torquing the bow because sometimes when you release the string, your reaction because a bow wants to jump is to grab. It is, guys, and what, what does that do? That's gonna cause bow torque this way. Instead of the bow's natural torque this way, your grip will, will, will automatically sometimes cause a torque because you're, you're reacting to the, to the shot. When you have nothing but fingertip pre uh, pressure on the front of that riser, that is eliminated, guys. So, I want you to watch how little torque this bow's got. A naked bow with nothing. Watch how little it's got on a shot. It's amazing. Dead on. Smooth as it can be. Smooth as it can be. Watch this, guys. Watch it again. solid as a rock and it really helps you acquire your angle now
a loaded quiver. I shoot all the time with a loaded quiver. Why? Because I hunt with one. I love my Selway quivers. I got this one loaded with five arrows, broadheads, luminox, all of it. Ready to hunt. But guess what? This quiver being loaded on this bow magnifies the problem. When the bow is released, it wants to torque even more than a naked bow. It does. Therefore, you have to do this to control it. And it also helps your accuracy, like I said, guys, a thousand percent. Now watch. Watch closely here. Almost no movement at all. Why? Because I've got that pressure. Now, when I take that pressure off, I want you to watch this bow. Watch how much this thing moves. When I don't, when I'm just bringing my fingers around like normal. See, it really, really torqued. The bow really torqued. It actually moved in my hand. I felt it when I shot. Well, that's going to affect your arrow downrange big time. Whereas, just like when you're shooting a compound, most compound shooters don't even put grips on their bows. No, most of them don't. They're shooting naked riser or maybe a wrap or a small slim grip or something because they don't want to torque the bow. They grip it and they usually lay one finger on it because they've got a wrist strap that's going to keep that bow from coming out of their hand. Well, you don't have that with the trad bow. So how do you offset that? By putting pressure with those three fingers, tips, fingertips on the front of your riser. It makes a thousand percent difference, guys. I promise it does. The bow just shoots better when you do this. So I'm gonna grab these arrows. I'm gonna shoot a couple more and I want you to watch with and without from behind. That way maybe you can see a little bit more of just how these bows naturally wanna torque. So stick with me, guys. Let me grab these arrows and we'll, we'll fire a couple with and without this technique to show you how big of a difference it is. I'm gonna shoot it on a normal grip without putting fingertip pressure. Okay, it naturally wants to go forward. It does, I'll do it again. There's just a lot of slack movement in the bow. Now, I'm gonna fingertip it like I do. I'm gonna grip this thing just like I always do with the pressure of those three fingers. Not only is the shot dead on, but the bow didn't wiggle around in my hand. Dead on. And the bow hasn't moved. Look at that, the white is still in my fingers. Look, see? didn't even let the pressure off yet. Control. I can completely, completely control my shot doing that. Every time. Even with a naked bow. I'll do one shot without. Did you see how much movement it had? Plus it wanted to fall back. Do you see all that? And that was just, just normal loose grip in the bow. That's what it typically did. I'm gonna grab these arrows, I'm gonna shoot it again, and I'm gonna show you the major difference here. Again, without using my fingertips. Okay. Plus it wants to rock back. I mean, you just can't hardly do that. Now, with it. Completely different. Man, that boat shoots good. Boy, it does. Dead on, too. See, it's not moving. Very little. You're never going to get all of it out. But just that little bit of tension makes all the difference in the world. Plus, it's accurate. It's very, very, very accurate, guys. One more time, watch this. There you 
There it is. See? Still got my pressure right there. Right there. Not this, not that. Just these three. Just those three. It's a game changer. It is. So what I want you to do, I want you to take your bow, go outside, and try it. Especially if you're shooting a long bow. Recurves with a good mass weight are not as bad as a lightweight longbow. So, you longbow shooters out there, try it. Give it a try. See if it does not if it does not make a huge huge difference in your groups. The feel of the shot, everything, total control of the bow. It will, guys. Thank you for joining me on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm Jeff Phillips, and I hope and pray as always you've enjoyed this. Hope it's helpful to you. Just like that.